He was simply saying, Lord, save me. Jesus, save me. I don't want to be like this anymore. I don't want to live like this anymore. I'm tired of doing the same thing every day. I'm tired of somebody leading me down to the gate every day. I'm tired of begging every day. So basically what he was saying, Jesus, save me. You know what? That's all the Lord is doing today. He's waiting on us to get tired. He's waiting on us to get tired of what we're going through. And when we get tired enough and start calling him in spite of what folks say, they telling him to be quiet, be quiet. Don't bother, don't trouble the master. Be quiet. So he opened up his mouth and began to call him even louder. See, it makes a difference when you the one need the help. It makes a difference when you are the one that need the help. Listen, let me help somebody. Let me help somebody in my closing. One of the most powerful prayers that you can pray one of the most sincere prayers that you can ask God is, Lord, help me. That's a prayer. That's a prayer. See, that's not a complaint. That's a request. And that's a, that's a prayer that's kind of in the irresistible stage with God. I'm finna throw somebody a curve right here. Back before I got saved. As the old man used to say, sitting up under the shade tree playing dominoes and chuckles. Before I got saved, I was high as a Georgia pine. See, some of y'all been out there playing dominoes and checkers with them. You, you done heard that. <laughs> oh, I was high as Cooter Brown. When I, thought, when I thought my heart was getting ready to burst out of my chest. And I knew, I knew I was wrong. I knew I wasn't in a good place with God. I came up in church. I came up in holiness. And I was in a bad place. And, and I'm, I'm sitting there high. Feel like my heart getting ready to pop out of my chest, smoking, smoking that marijuana. And, but I still was conscious to the fact that if I die right now, I'm ended up in hell. 